I'm going to talk like this, Brian, so you got me. So I'll talk. I'll start the show. I think the birthday boy should be the introduction. Today we are live on YouTube and Periscope, going live on your personal page, and then last we'll do Goldberg Tribes. Okay. I keep thinking I got money in my wallet, and it's that microphone <laughs> thing. I never have anything in my back pocket okay, that thick. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's get all of them. We're on YouTube. We're on Periscope. Or Todd Hoffman. This is Todd's Kitchen. Okay. Go live on uh, Gold Rush Todd. Okay, we are live on Facebook. Hey guys, Todd Hoffman again. This is our second episode of Todd's Kitchen. You got Jim Thurber. We got Big Tom Filaroski, and of course my dad. You got Jack, uh, and we got something special we're gonna do with Jack here in a little bit. Um, Today, we are going to quickly cook some salmon, but first, we had a lot of comments about you that you didn't wash your hands. Oh. Quick, I want to see it. Oh, I want to wash your hands. Here we go. These guys have already washed their hands. Tom. Here we go. You got Ooh. this? Oh, I think All so. All right, good. Yeah. All right. I took a shower this week, too. <laughs> <coughs> How's our audio, guys? Can everybody hear us? We're good? John, we got John. Of course, we got Brian and Brian on this camera here. Guys, have you ever been to somebody's house and they, and they cook you salmon and you're like, oh, that's really good. But really, it wasn't very good. It's a lot of people can actually screw salmon up. Um, I think it's kind of hard if you, if you have any kind of skill. Now, I took some hate, you guys, because I, my logo has a chef's hat. None of us think that I'm like God's gift to anything, right? But we do like to eat. We're obviously good at it. At least I am. Me right, too. Tom? Too? Me too, baby. Yeah. We're on keto. These two guys don't need it. But uh, we've cooked a lot of low-carb stuff. Your Sam is going to be keto, and yeah. I think Thurber's is too. Does it have a little bit of sugar on yours? Zero sugar. It okay. Straight up. We got two types of salmon here. We have this one here, and then uh, you guys stay here. Then we have this one right here. Uh, and this, this is what Tom is, is preparing right here. And uh, this is Jim Thurber's right here. Jim, let's go right into it. What kind of salmon? Are you going to go ahead and cook? Cooking uh, king salmon, also known as Chinook. Right here, king salmon. And it's Chinook. That's you, Brian. You got it? Got the shot? Right here. Why is it called Chinook and why is it called? Why is there two names for it? I don't know. I just, the number one fish, and they call it the king. King the of the king. fish. King of the fish. Tom, you're going to be cooking what? We're going with silvers today. It's the. Traditional this time of year to run the fall run. Silvers are coming up, hopefully in great numbers. So do we, how many runs and of silver do we have up our rivers here? So Oregon? they're going to hit all the smaller tributaries. When? Right now what they're coming in. It'll be this time, September, running for about another month. They'll okay. go up in the smaller tributaries. It won't be a couple weeks here, and we can belay over your yep. canyon I right into hold, the sandy front yard. I got yard. the silvers that run up my river right here out in front of the house. Uh, we also got some kings. Uh, what are the time, the runs, real quickly, Jim? On the uh, spring and fall. The fall. spring run and the yeah. fall run. Yeah. Okay, I wrote down steelhead here because you and I caught a wild steelhead right here on my fishing hole right here. Tell me about steelhead. A lot of people don't know a lot about them. They're a migrating rainbow trout. That means they'll live in the freshwater, migrate out to the ocean, okay. grow, and come back. And they don't die after spawning. They will have to return to the They'll ocean. They'll go for it again. Yeah. These guys, man, they fight. They fight hard, too. Boy, yeah. that they are. Okay, yours is going to take longer to cook. Tell us how you prepared it. you got two types of, of setups here, Jim. Go into it. Well, it's filet. It's fresh, never frozen. I have uh, olive oil, minced garlic. When it's almost through cooking, then I'll spread the Parmesan Parmesan cheese. I'll get a nice golden brown. So when you say almost done cooking, how long are you going to cook this for? This will go 20 minutes, and then I put the Parmesan. If you put it on now, it'll just burn. So, right. And then, so you put it on 20 minutes in, and yeah. then it'll melt right on the top. So what do you call this? Uh, Parmesan. Thurber's Parmesan? 
No, I just Parmesan. Parmesan, yeah, it's nothing right. fancy. It's just the right. best darn fish it. you'll eat. All right, what about this guy right here? And this is what I call dill salmon. I'll put it in a mesquite grill, briquettes. Uh, just cook it as it is, and uh, put a little bit of smoke in there, and it's be good. So you just put the pickles on there. Onions. You got some onions. I put the onions on to keep the pickles up off the meat. Otherwise, it won't get all the smoky flavor. Now, you're just putting the side of a fish in there to get the skin on the back, obviously. Right. Right? Skin okay. side down. Why don't Bryant, will you follow him as he puts these in the, the oven? Do one of you guys want to come in and help him take it to the... Hey, Kurt. It's Kurt Van Meter and Kurt Van Meter Band. Why don't you follow Jim out there? Okay. Um, while he's doing that, Brian, let's go ahead and let's go over to Jim's. I mean, let's go over to Tom's, Big Tom Salmon. And tell us what you, what you got cooking here. And this is a silver salmon. So you're going to see all different phases of this. First, the salmon, the way that we pick it up from the processor, which was filleted yesterday. You got two fillets of the equivalent of a whole fish. Then I'll show you how we're going to take this particular fillet from start to finish. Now, how do you pick these? I mean, when you're at the store, I mean, is there anything that you're looking for, Tom? Like a, a particular size or? I would go uniformity, I, okay. you know, because you're going to have the even cook on it. Um, and then from there, the ingredients for all of this of what we're doing today is right here, and I'll explain and it is, as we go. Okay, cool. It's fresh silver, fresh coho. What are you doing? And then what we have is, I've had one here that's been prepped for a while. You'll see it's changed a little color. When you're in this keto, we're not allowed really to have any soy sauce. And I believe it's primarily because the soy itself has a lot of sugar. So we replace it with liquid aminos. It'll still bring your saltiness in, your color that and you want. And this is like Bragg's amino, a Bragg's Liquid amino. There you go. And as it says, this all This is purpose. a lot of the people on keto go with that. Soy sauce has just got too many sugars and things in it. Right. So basically what we're going to do today is it's going to come to this proportion. We're going to start out. So what are you doing? You're putting this in like a brine? Yep. Okay, how long? Very what, 20 you... minutes, an hour if okay. you'd like. It doesn't okay. have to be a Good. long time. So we'll start with this one so you can see what's going on. I'm using, this is probably the one thing in the keto that's not really working for us. So I'm going to take about a half a cup. What is it? It's a Fumé Blanc dry white wine. And you want this dry white wine, we're just laying the fish over the top of it. Then we're going to take some of our amino, which is our replacement for the soy sauce, and just drizzle it over the filet. So you got the white wine underneath the fish, and yep. then you got that. You got the uh, Bragg's amino over the top. Yeah, okay. and then we're going to take regular Worcestershire sauce, just a little bit. This is not that we're having a, a large amount. We're drizzling it over the top. At this point, we're taking some fresh lemon. I've, it's about the equivalent of a whole lemon. You'll see I've just drizzled it in here. Why is the key word drizzle? Why do we drizzle? I guess because we're not pouring <laughs> it on. Oh, okay. you know? I guess drizzle this would be it. pouring. Just drizzle it, brother. Okay, and this would be drizzling, little drip. Better Can you see a difference? I can't. Dude, okay. Look at that. He drizzled so it. Okay. That's pretty much ready White to go wine, in the rags. oven. You got lemon on there. Yep. Now what? And you can see that it hasn't been setting long, so we're just going to transfer this into the pan. This pan's now going in the oven. On the oven side, I've got it at 425 degrees. We're going to just let it set here. I'll slip it in the oven. Uh, you don't think that wine's going to catch on fire? Uh, let's hope not. I it's not my house who really cares. And you notice how clean the stove was, OK? In a few minutes, maybe it won't be so clean. But after all, <laughs> I like making a mess in your kitchen. All right, what do we got? So when what? that's all done. So how long are you going to put this in for? For about five minutes. Then I'm going to okay. do very Somebody similar. Somebody keep time. Yeah, I can figure that by looking. Okay. okay. He needs a timer. If you folks need a timer, set your timer. I, my wife got me one of these really smart phones. All right. And I can say to it, alarm in five minutes. And then some gal talks to me. And then see your fingers. 
Look at those, those are babies. like big Italian sausages. Yeah, absolutely, they really. Are you sure you can yeah. run a phone? Because my dad, well, my dad can barely run his. Phone. We're, not, we're not good at the button <laughs> part. Oh, but you're uh, not. my young, my oldest showed me that you can talk to it to do a thing called text yeah. message yeah, machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can text. You go. I'm sending you this text message to oh, see. Oh, you can blah, talk blah, blah, in blah. your phone. Yeah, voice and, recognition. Yeah, but most of the time it doesn't understand no, me. No, it doesn't. And it Just really send it anyway. drives who me cares? nuts. Like, send a text. Who cares? I don't even bother sending it. They can so we call got Thurber's. Later. His two types of salmon are in there cooking. We'll, we'll keep an eye on them so I catch on fire. Tom, yours is in yep. there. It's a full keto setup. Yep. What else can we uh, share with people? So we're going to use today Parmesan cheese. It's really like top so notch. So Thurber, you got Parmesan too. Yep putting a little bit on there. Why are we doing Parmesan? Why not some other types of cheeses? I think it's the flavor, the accent, the delicacy of the salmon itself. Okay. There's no other way of putting it. Okay. Uh, will it look pretty? It depends how well I burn it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's not the yeah. point. But when you bite through this, you'll go, wow, this is so much better than Jim's. Yeah. But you know, what does Jim do? Dude, what I mean, does Jim do? Seriously, digs what holes, does Jim do? shakes pans. Yeah. I seen him one day all day long with yeah. Jack, just shaking a pan, shaking a pan. What uh, the I'm heck sure is that it? We got 3,030 ounces. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. guess that counts for something. Hey, I never uh, caught that much salmon. While this salmon, is cooking, we got a second, Tom. Can we take a question or anything? You guys oh, got I any know. questions? Come on in. Yeah, so the Roll fans right in. Would, Roll the, right in, I'm Judah. Coming right in. This is Judah Crombie. He's one of our guys. So the fans would love to know. For Jack, what is Where, your Dad? craziest fish story? Oh, Todd and I flew up to Alaska one time, and uh, this was quite a long time ago. But we went sockeye fishing. And to make a long story short, we caught so many fish that we would lay it out on the dock for the grizzly bears that were walking by our door all night long. I did not. You know what? That trip, I got to be honest with you. We almost crashed the plane. We almost got eaten by a grizzly bear. Yeah. We almost we almost got in two fist fights with these. With yeah. these one was one was a hippie. No offense, hippies. We don't want to offend all the hippies out there, but yeah, we do. Just Love kidding. Just kidding. Anyways, that was a great trip. We were gone almost a month, but we caught yeah. a lot of fish. Um, I don't yeah. know. It I was, think it was it a was cool. It was actually one of the most fun trips. You know, uh, we are Foot loose and fancy free, and it was a lot of fun fishing. Absolutely. So. Any other? Give me another question. What do you got, Kurt? This is kind of a question for everybody. What is the weirdest thing you guys have eaten? Eaten? That's a question from a lot of different. You know, people. the British guys that do that—that that were the camera crew. They were out. You know, they had hunters shoot a squirrel for some reason, and uh, uh, to to try to get it on the show, they they made it made him eat it so i had to try part of a nasty old squirrel and it was not cooked good it was it was not pretty so how about you guys besides bear or what else oh you I, eat anything we weird bear up in alaska and it was bearable i mean you yeah. <laughs> we'll see what you did there that was good yeah what else man you got any other thing question about bear i'll go with bear the best what? thing comes off of the bear is the fat for boot grease. Oh yeah. I'm not really go. sure about the meat. Some people we like it. Come on in. Burritos. Come on in. Oh, burritos. Camera guy yeah, says everybody tuck burritos. in. Give me another good question. Uh, for Tom, people are wanting to know what where the best place to buy salmon is. Well, in our area, I'm going to tell you because of their volume and we have one major supplier, I'd recommend these food warehouses. Go with places that really move a lot of fish. In our area it would be Costco. There's also some great markets. We got Pacific Seafood, we got Costco. Yeah, um, yeah I don't know. Is a great we got, job. We got some good ones, but you can go to the docks. We, we try to catch our own. Yeah. You know, we've yeah. been going tuna, salmon. There's, uh, we shot a deer the other night. We're going to do, we'll no probably do some venison. We're hoping to get an elk next week. So, and we're actually going to have a sturgeon season here in yeah. a week or two. You think so? so? They're going to no, we are. are. Yeah. We are. Sam, one of these days, somebody will get a walleye, oh, and we'll have the best <laughs> fish. <here. laughs> Makes there what is. else we got? What's the biggest fish? How's your fish? Biggest Five fish minutes? you've ever Not got. Yet. Not well, yet. I, yeah. my wife was real good at inviting friends, wives where she worked, their husbands to go fishing with me. 
So I took this guy out, and he didn't know anything about it, and I showed him how to put the bait on, and we're bobber fishing, and I throw it over the boat. And I said, let me see your line. I'll show you one more time. Do it the same way every time. And turn around, get his line in there, and I turn around and go, where's my bobber? He goes, oh, it went down. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest fish I ever caught, 55 pounds, never saw it. It must have been on for two minutes. It's still set out there the hook. right now. No, I, it died. No. <laughs> These two guys are, are pro fishermen. They've been fishing all over the world. They've been, I mean, I even caught piranha with you That's where we had idea. to put cable as leader because the fish would cut through the leader. Yep. We used like a nice little cable and we brought in some crazy stuff in the yeah. jungle. And air pie. We, we yeah. crab, we do a lot of crabbing. Um, you get oysters, we get all kinds of oysters, things. Oysters, clams. Clams, clam digging. Sea run uh, trout. Razor yeah. clams. We try to get all, you know, the there's residents. always somebody better at us than everything, but you know what? We go out, we do it, we have a good time. It's pretty cool. Um, another thing real quick before Tom pulls that out. This is, guys, today is my dad's birthday. He's 74 years old. Happy yep. birthday, Tom. Happy, wow. birthday. Happy birthday, Did Jack. you guys bring uh, my dad? We got you a gift. Sean, it's right there. It's a bag right there. Um, 74 years old, Dad. What... Um, Give me, give, give the audience like one piece of advice as far as, as you've been married to mom, this is my wife, Donna. Here's your gift. Don't open it yet. Anyways, uh, how long have you been married to mom? Uh, let's see, 53 years. Wow. wow. Give or take wow. a couple years. Is no, that, no, that no, no. that's what it is. It's <laughs> ish. Yeah. ish. Give us, uh, she needs there's a lot work. of people out there, shoot, there's a lot of our friends that are going through divorces and stuff, yeah. and give us one piece of advice that's like, you know, well, that the, you could give us in life as far as maybe marriage or, or just anything that, that comes to mind. Well, the one thing is, uh, is, Give God credit and, and put God first in your life. Uh, you know, that's easily said. And, uh, you know, I've been a Christian, but there's been times when I've, uh, you know, been ready and willing to strangle. Is that you know, the love of is your that life. Is we're getting gold or not yeah, your wife? And, and it's just, it's just <laughs> one of those things. So divorce was Nobody's never an perfect. option, but murder was on the table? Yeah, yeah. About? Billy, wow. Graham, Billy <laughs> Graham's <laughs> wife said that one time. She yes, says, she you did. know, I considered murder one time. And well, I'll tell you what, we're not perfect, <laughs> especially Kurt here yeah. and, uh, so and Judah. But, uh, I'm good. but we yeah. do try to put God first. <laughs> there you go. We're not... We're no po poster boys for the Christian faith, but I'll tell you what, we do love God. Thurber? Yeah. I think that should be an award for uh, Georgia. Yeah, this yeah. should go to well, Georgia. That's fine. Yeah. But, uh, go ahead, Dad. That's open right. it up, okay. man. Well, I'll, I'll see. The well, gift we card have. to what Cabela's. <laughs> yeah. Gift card to Cabela's. Ooh, that'd be nice. New batteries. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, so the other day we were going, uh, we were going, we are trying to go bow hunting, and, and Jack couldn't find something. So I... I I hope it's what I think. What is it, Jack? Range finder. A range finder. Yeah. Oh, no more yeah, shoot. Dude, there you go. Yeah, got a range there we finder. Go. All right. Well, yeah. if you don't know what this is for, when you shoot a bow, uh, sometimes those deer are out there a little you bit further. You probably can't hear it because of your plastic, Dad. They're pulling out of there. Okay. In other words, from a fisherman's point of view, that's a depth finder for land. <laughs> okay. Well, Simple as that. The potato goes in the front, if you know what I mean, guys. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so I don't know, it probably doesn't have a battery in it. But no, this, it doesn't. This that, is, this is the ones we does. use. It's got the red the red side in it. Let's get it out of the way. Hey. Honey, will you take that? Thanks. Um, Thank Tom, you, guys. are we ready? Let's see how Happy well we're birthday. Happy birthday. You want to sing real quick? Thank Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. He's Happy just birthday, dear Jack. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Thanks, Dad. And Thank you. Let's see what's Tom, going let's on. Tom, let's go. Let's get in on this okay. salmon. So, Brian, you want to come in real quick? Or no, you don't have to. We'll let's see how out. bad the oven is. Let's see what. Pull the it oven. to right here, Brian. We, and we hardly have any mess in the oven. Something's wrong. Oh, she's getting there, people. So, yeah. and it's go. hot. You know why that's so hot? The nun taught me that. Wait, shouldn't we put something under that that's on my counter? Stone, stone. Like a rock. Okay. 
Now, the, Sister Mary Liguori taught me this basic physics. That pan is so hot. Wait be, a minute. Because Who's of that? basic. Sister Mary Liguori. She's what kept me in line for what? eight years. So, what do you mean? Parochial so you went, school. So, you went to parochial school? What Shauna a, says put it on that. Shauna says put it on it. Okay, look, afraid. I burned the stone. Once again, I made a mess. Okay, honey. What else, dear? Oh, there you go. There you go. I won't burn my hey, hands. Johnny. Okay, so here we go. It's ready to get How to the broiler. How long was that, Tom? That was actually a little bit longer than we thought. Then five minutes? Uh-oh, wait, I'll check my watch. Oh, that's right, I don't carry a watch. I wouldn't have a cell phone if it wasn't for my wife and her short leash, but here we go. Yeah. I don't know that we're drizzling. I'm just the telling you. The, the, the last thing you need is trouble with Karen. Oh, never, never. She, you know. she didn't hear that. She is a saint. She can't hear out of She's only got one good ear. So We're going for the 53 odd. years, too. No, she's got hearing aid. It works just she fine. She does? She puts new batteries in it about every well, day. Good job, Okay. Karen. So we got the Parmesan cheese over the top. Now we're going to take some good old-fashioned butter. What kind of butter, Tom? Uh, so You're using the Kerrygold. I'm using this Kerrygold butter because... For some reason, that's the keto butter. There's, there's actually Why? less whey in it, I think. It's a very good product. And a little dab will do you. For those of you offended by my fingers, not to worry, I wash my hands. Uh, well, so one of those weeks. <laughs> I'll check with the wife. So you put, a little, you put a little butter. We'll put in butter on, on it. A little butter. A little butter. A lot of butter. Keep the butter coming. I guess it's like, remember, people who are old like me will know this. It's like Brill Cream. A little dab will do you. Absolutely. Okay. Then we're going to put some white pepper over the top of it. Easy does it on the white pepper. Wait, 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 wait. White what? Pepper. It's black pepper, but white. Why? Okay. Good question. I guess because it blends better. Looks pretty. Plus, this friend of mine gives it does to it me. Does it matter so. if it's black pepper or white pepper? I don't really think the pepper matters, but now the towel does. So guys, my, these guys right here. It's a great. These guys thing. supply all of our spices. These guys are out of San Francisco. Don't hold that against them. No, nope, they're uh, great folks. They're pretty awesome. And the gentleman who runs helps run that company is a killer elk hunter. Okay, so now we're going to switch it from the 425 oven. We're going into a broiler. Keep okay. it on a... Whoops. We're okay. keeping it on the medium. So on we the got the 425. Rack. How long? About eight minutes? Five to eight minutes. Five to eight minutes. We're going over it. We're, we're going to hit it with the broiler. We're going to brown it. We're going to brown it, We're brown gonna the top take it out it. and not set it on the counter, put it on the pineapple cutout board, and we're okay. going to let it rest. Now, are we going to, while we're doing this, while I'm, we're tackling this, Now I'm going to make do? a cheese sauce. Okay, so we're going to do broccoli? Yep. What? We're going to do some broccoli. I've already steamed the broccoli. That's ready hey, to uh, go. Hey, you want to come in on this shot? I'm not sure if you can see that. That was alive yesterday, fresh out of the garden. Ferber's going to check his salmon out there. I'm supposed to know how to run this stove. So I like... Go ahead. So I like uh, broccoli with cheese, and that is, if you do the cheese sauce right, it's keto, right? Is yep, this a so keto? here we go. On the so this is a full keto cheese sauce. Yep, yep. And so instead of using a, flour, a white flour, oh, I'm going to turn around here. What instead camera of, are we on? Instead of using the white flour. Okay, we're on the wide. We're going to use an almond flour today, and I'm going to make a, a light roux. You'll see this in a minute. What did you just say? A what roux. What did you call it? A, a roux? roux? So that everything thickens. Let's put it okay. that way. That's what's running and, around over in Australia. Yeah, and what do the French call this? A bechamel oh. sauce? It's, you know... I mem my meme would know that. Yeah. But here we go. We're melting the butter. Hopefully it's going to melt here pretty quick. So you got one cube of butter. I got about a quarter cup there. Okay. Then here's our almond flour. I want to get this shot. Um, I'm going to try. Brian, come here. I'm going to try oh. not to make it too lumpy. Can you cut to Brian's camera, Brian? Let's see what we can do. Oh. Here, come on right over here. Go right down on it. Butter's right there. Can you get on it? Oh, I'm putting about the right same here. amount. 
yes. of the flour, okay. in almond flour. So you got almond flour and one cube of butter. And stir. Kerrygold. That's Kerrygold butter. Don't slow down. Almond flour. How much almond flour? Tom? About the same amount as the butter. So if we have equal parts, a little less on the almond flour perhaps. Okay. You can see how we're starting to thicken it. And okay. the one thing that I so didn't just do. just kind of medium burner? Uh, like we're good. Hot. Uh, yeah, we do, but. I mean, too hot. It's it coming in too. hot. Okay, Sister Ligori again. That's what Karen says. Basic physics. That's what she says. Yep, and she's running, baby. Doesn't work. Okay. I'm What's giving this? up on what that. What is that? A little more almond flour. I don't. Why almond flour? Is that keto? It yeah. doesn't have sugar? It no. Have... We don't have the carbs. Okay. So you, you know, got it on heat. How's my heat? I turn it down a little bit. I think it's working good. I Wait, don't I don't have any spots on the stove yet. Let's burn something. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, now what? I'm almost there. Some people will want this a little darker. Uh, basis of home gravy, I guess you'd call it. So you steam your broccoli. Steam the broccoli. Thurber, how now, are we doing on uh, how we doing on yours? I probably About five minutes. Okay. So I probably should have this down. warm because it may. I'm gonna just put a little, incorporate a little what milk. What is that? We got whole organic milk. Whole I'm, milk. Ooh, I've got a real hot heat. You want me to turn it down? If I had three hands, I'd be a lot better off. Is that Jersey milk? What kind of milk is that? That milk is organic milk from an organic cow. I'm not sure what that means, but hey, okay. okay. So this is yeah. going to go back up again. I want it to thicken. Okay. Yeah. Low. Right. Coming hot. Up. Here we go. It's starting. If I had a spoon, so I'll show you with a spatula. So I put, oh, there's the mess. Look at that shot. Oh, beautiful That's stove, right. now turned milky. Make a mess, Tommy. It's all good. So, Dad, do you have any idea what Tom's doing here? Uh, doing? He's making a mess. A, a mess. roux. Yeah. Whenever a roux. I've made roux, it was similar, but. So it's not thickening <laughs> right now, but that's, you I've know. I've made the, a lot of roux, guys. The frame yeah. of Hollywood. My Switch day. to a spatula. I'm counting on this thickening. <laughs> Let's see if it's coating the spatula. It's not quite. So what are you what are you looking for, Tom? What are you doing? I'm trying to get the the flour to activate yeah. with the milk so that this coats almost so coating. Drips. And it gets a little thicker. And in this case, I'm fighting a dead end street or battle, or I can blame it on the way. Well, you start you put a lot of milk in there. Yeah, I know. You went a little. The cow really let loose on one of those cow yeah, things. Did. What do they do? Those, That's they squirted enough. it in. Now it looks like it's sticking in a little there. bit. Let's make pretend it's thickened. And obviously we're making pretend. Now for the pasty resistance. I'm, I'm using extra now sharp cheddar minute. cheese. What kind? Extra, extra sharp, sharp cheddar. chedder. Okay. It's you want I, this heat down? I graded it, yeah. Heat up see, or down? Down? see how it's bubbling and thickening? Yeah. We're I coming like around, that. little down, little down. Right down. Till about cheese. Till about Watch this, let the burner, let them see the burner. Oh, there we'll we bring go. bring it down about what? There you go. There? And you can see it's actually starting to thicken. Okay. And yeah, I washed my hands just the other day. Okay, now we're putting in, let's call okay. it. Give me the cheese A again. cup of cheese. Cup of Tillamook extra sharp cheddar. Extra sharp cheddar. And constantly Guys, we're making stir. our cheese sauce. And for it may get a little too thick, so we may thin it out again with that Cheese milk. sauce for our broccoli. This cheese sauce is keto. You have a little tiny bit of carbs in that milk, but it's not hardly anything. No carbs in the broccoli. And you think we're Dude, good. that looks good. That, that looks, looks like good. just the right amount. If you want more cheese, that's your business. Dude, no. that's perfect. How's that look? That is the best roux. Now, the real brew. trick. Watch this. Now, what's this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, tell me what it is. I know. It's a secret. And then after I do this, you'll say, what's the secret for? Don't keep secrets. So Tom. here we go. We just use our microplane. And look what at that, that little nugget. What is it? That is a nugget of nutmeg. You'll see here I got some whole nutmeg. Huh. It's Meme's trick. Who's Meme? Who's Meme? Your grandmother, my your grandmother. Grandma. So Great. on my mother's side, I'm blessed to be French. And on my dad's side, I'm first generation Polish. The perfect mixture. There's not a lot of us around. Was she a good cook? 
Meme was your my ma, my meme could cook your lights out. Really? You and I would be not as slim and trim if meme was here cooking, let me tell you. So we there's our slim. sauce. We're gonna try that. You'll say, what in the world he put the nutmeg in there? It's somewhat of a cast of, uh Now what are we doing? We're shutting we doing? off the shutting oven. Off the burner. Trying to save some So we have Yeah. We have here. Here's our broccoli. How long I like how long oh. so I people to feel snap. like what does it look like? When do you That's know a, when your broccoli's done? Really personally I think it's no, overcooked. That is? It it a little bit of snap to it. Okay. Uh, they want it to crunch, not like the celery. Okay. But just steam. So Dad, I'll, do you like broccoli? I, I like broccoli, bottom. but I like it a little greener, you know. Right. Do you not like overcooked. it a little broccolier? Yeah, I guess so. Not All cooked right. so long. Okay, what are we doing? What's so, next? Should we get yours served? I got to put the Parmesan on there and it'll be okay. ready. Okay, we'll go quick. out here. Stay on Brian's camera. Go ahead. Coming out here, Thurber. So, how long has this been on the Traeger? It's been on there for 20 minutes. Okay. What's your heat? It's full bore? We're at 380. I tried to get the 400, but we'll live with it's this. Tough. You can kind of block these a little bit, but see, that looks good too, Thurbs. So, you got a lot of garlic, you yeah. got your Parmesan. Okay, you got the dairy, you got your butter. So now, what are you gonna do, just melt that on there? Yeah, it'll get a slight brown to it and it's ready to come off. Okay. About five minutes. And okay. then over here, we got our mesquite dill salmon. It's getting real close too, so we're gonna be in fish here pretty quick. Yeah, it's getting real close. What do you think, Dad? I think I'm going to eat more fish than I'm supposed to eat. What's wrong with fish? Why Not can't? Nothing. You can eat as much fish as you want. Sure. You just don't want to be Dude, spoiled. Dude, you guys had run a lot of road together in that cleanup room. Yeah. Yeah, what Jack's put up with me for years. Server and I, <laughs> we cleaned up more gold than most people will ever see in their lifetime. It was a lot yeah. of fun, you know. Yeah. That gold room was a special place we brought people in you know a lot of you guys ever want to mine again or do you think uh, i'd love to do it again you know well you derp yeah some want to mine and uh yeah. bought a mine actually yeah. did you yeah you bought a gold mine sanger mine look it up on the internet right. sanger it's sanger mine nice is it in oregon or yep yep, yep. Oh, wow. in, yeah oh cool way well, to go by the blues how long are you going to leave this in here uh, just another five minutes five minutes there and we're fish ready okay let's go back in oh how do you get that? Okay. new snow on mount hood wow one two three That's pretty good That's just it? make sure you're inside okay got a little extra parmesan here it's always good. Oh, Tom, that's smelling so, good. Oh, it should be, right? Yeah. Here we go. Let's put a little okay. bit of the... Okay, let's get on the broccoli. Let's get some of that cheese sauce on the broccoli. And thick it is, so the roux is working. Is that kind of how you want it? Yeah, pretty much so it's, you know, staying up with your product. Okay. And, and I think we're good there. The server, you've already transferred your fish. How long are you going to leave those in there? How long are you going to leave the Parmesan one in there? Uh, another five minutes and we're done. And okay. about the same on the uh, mesquite. Okay. So Let's take a peek and see what the broiler's doing on our okay. flays of coho down when here. When you guys want to come in? Wanna? Oh, no, we'll bring it right here. Bring it right here. Well, it might not be done. So, Will, you want to see look. what's going on? Getting close, Tommy. Okay. Oh, how yeah. do you, getting close. How do you know? Well, so you want to see a little brown? Pretty much brown on the cheese. That's a little bit of brown yeah. on the cheese. And I might have over. We'll see in a minute here how it's going. If I got it a little closer to the broiler, it would have browned quicker. Yeah. Um, you feel like maybe you should have been up a little bit. It might have been. I'm, I don't know your oven. So like you want to get you want to get right up top there and get that brown on the. You cheese. get that glaze somewhat. We don't want to overcook the fish. Okay. We'll dress it a Did little with some lemon fixed? slices. Yep. Can everybody hear Jacker? I think they can. All right. 
We got another quick question from any, any people out there. What do we got? Quick, bring it in. Bring it in. Right, come on. Bring it in. Got to come in. You've come on all, in. You guys have been all over the world. What's your favorite river or ocean, I guess, to fish? Um, I, <sighs> Lake Ileana in Alaska is just beyond belief. Yeah, uh, pretty phenomenal. Yeah, it, it's like combat fishing some places where you go there. It's, <laughs> it's really... What about you, Thurb? Well, I have a love for the Sandy River. When yeah. I was a little, little guy, my mom, I don't remember doing it, but she gave me a pair of boots and I walked off a cliff because I had boots on, my feet weren't going to get wet. But Ooh. my dad just yeah. happened to see me go wow. over, ran, oh, dove in. Man. Oh, so, wow. But I still like it. Not you do drift boat trips. You do all Float kinds trips. of things. I love taking my drift boat down. Really love taking people who have never yeah. caught a fish before and yeah. watching the excitement. Oh, dude, that's cool. I like the Columbia. I also, um, there's a couple of little rivers up north that I liked. You know, up out of Haines is real pretty. <laughs> what is that river called? The uh, Chilkat or Chil the Chilkoot? Uh, yeah, uh, Clahini. The Clahini oh. River, that was pretty neat. Caught a lot yeah. of a lot of fish out there. Another quick question. So that kind of answered the question from Mama Mud 75. She asked, um, when you guys were mining in Alaska, did you guys get to do any fishing? So we did yeah. a little yeah. bit. We caught a lot of pike up in uh, up in uh, Canada there, Yukon. Yeah. But uh, Alaska mostly, we caught a lot of salmon. But mm -hmm. um, pretty cool. You got one, Judah? I do. Um, some people were asking, what's the difference between taste-wise uh, between farm and wild? And obviously, wild's probably better. But Tom, what do you think? What's your opinion? Farm fish and wild fish. I have nothing to say bad on the farming fish that's available. They claim that with farm fish, because of the congestion, they have issues with diseases that I'm not aware of. In our area, there is farm fish available retail, but you really don't see it as much because of the abundance of wild that we have. Yeah, both coasts, and, you obviously, east you coast, know, west coast. You know, a farm-raised fish, if I'm correct, is basis from an Atlantic salmon. That's the gene base. Whereas here, as he speaks of king or chinook or tai, or silvers or pinks or chums or sockeye, they're all a native fish that's either raised through hatchery programs or right here in the wild. Everything that's going up in front of Todd's house here in a couple of weeks in terms yeah. of coho, it's just running on its own. What about you, Thurby? Any thoughts on that farm? Um, I really don't need to buy farm fish. Yeah. I mean, we've bought it from Costco. It's great, I think. Yeah. I can't really tell the difference, but uh, obviously I wouldn't eat it if it was diseased, and I don't think they'd sell it, so I think we're good. Cool. Thanks, Kurt, you got any guys? A lot of people are asking for you to be singing, so just so you yeah. know, they want you to be singing. You're at some a singer, point, yeah, we I'm should do something together. Yes. Like, yeah, we like should. Right now. At some yeah. point. Right now. No, I'm not going to yeah. sing right now. It's got to be a little more prepared. <laughs> I, I, yes. did do, I just recorded a song. I think it's okay. I mean, I really liked that last video we did with Aaron Carter. Yeah. Um, um, I do have a little band working on some stuff. We have about six songs. I don't know if we're going to be ready to open for you down at the Ponderosa. But, um, but we will definitely get something set up where you're... We're doing yeah. rocking something at we some point. It. It's been real busy. You've got the treatment center, sober living, Oregon, rc.com. If you got some family members, give us a call, hit up the website. Um, we're just doing a lot of neat things. We're, we're putting a lot of little businesses together. Um, Zoom media is going good. Thurber. Shauna, can I put heat on this platter? Okay. I'm going to yeah. go get my salmon. Sorry. Okay. Thurber's going to grab his salmon. Dad, will you follow him out there? Yeah, I will. Why don't you ask him some witty question, Dad? Oh, Not yeah, witty. okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's leave that on there for a sec. Leave it on there. Okay. I'm going to go grab the other one. This needs just a little more time. We'll okay. grab the other fish. All right. So I guess that's the good thing about having two fish on. Keep going. Oh, this smells perfect. Okay, you hold this. Okay. As low as you can, because I'm going to go fast. Because it's hot. Yeah. And we're up. Watch out for juice. Don't get that on. Yeah. Ha, hey. Come 
Okay. Yeah, it's still burning. Okay. Okay. That one is ready. Leave the foil on it. Just put it on the counter, Jack. In oh, here. you don't. You aren't gonna put the other no, one I on here. No, I won't fit. Okay. Just you want another? Yeah. Pan? I need one more. Shauna, can we have another one of these? Yeah. Are you gonna? Bottom left. You right on the right up to the. Leave that covered. Just yeah, leave it. Leave it covered. Yeah. Yep. Oh man, look at this. Thank you, Sean. Get off it, man. Okay. Just like that. Okay. It won't be that hot. Pump it around so it's So, we got, let's go through this. Uh, you got me back up, John? Okay. All right. We got some plates, Dad. Let's go through it. What do we got? Everything we got here. Okay. Thurber, start right here. Is this you? This is Parmesan Chinook, King Salmon, and Dill Salmon. Smoked on my little. Man, that's a smeller, huh? Oh, oh good. man. Boy, does that smell good. Wow. Right, we got the, guys, we got the steamed broccoli with the the roux, no, which has, uh, what, what does it have in it? Cheese sauce. So it's extra. Cheese sauce. Chop, Tillamook cheddar over steamed broccoli. We were talking about early about the silver and what we were looking for. Yeah. In the broiling part of this, you're going to see that this is started almost like a cure or blank. The Parmesan cheese should be a little browner. I did not want to overcook the fillets. We want to have the oil and the flavor. It's possibly a little overcooked, but that's why I pulled them. And full keto, full keto. How many pounds are you down, Tom? Let's be honest, be honest. From for, June for 27th, as of yesterday morning, we were 54 pounds in the minus. What are you at? Right. I'm at 295 pounds from okay, 349. Here's the deal. I'm 299. I broke 300. Good job, Bill. I told you we could do this. <laughs> I know it. It's slim and trim, baby. Oh, Jack, and, yeah. Jack and I together weigh what? 300. <laughs> See? Yeah, How much do you weigh, Dad? I, I weigh 175. What about oh, you? my God. Holy 175. Smokes. Huh? What are you doing a stiff wind? Yeah. You don't go out in bad conditions. I can turn fishing. sideways and it doesn't blow me over. Huh. Hey, okay, guys, let's try this. Everybody, come in. Let's get some tasting going on. I'll kind of give on, you I some, try some of this. direction on. Let's get a wide shot, guys. On this fish, you want to take a pickle, slice it up in little pieces, and so you want a little piece it. of pickle with that. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna serve it. Parmesan. You. Let me have a little mm -hmm. chunk of that. I'm gonna try some of this. Uh, Broccoli. Keto broccoli. Notice he doesn't miss a meal. And the part of keto is the intermittent fasting. Is it? Yeah. What's been working for you? Intermittent fasting? What do we got, Jack? Absolutely. Right That's here. solid I breakfast. This. Server, I want to try that. Some other. Oh, that looks so good. Can Look at the side that? of that. Okay. Got, he nailed Thank that you. one. Nail a chunk. I'll let you get your vegetables here. Now, fall fish, a little bit oilier than a spring. Well, no, vice versa. Kind of the other way. It's it's meat going back to spawn. Okay, this is so it'll start this breaking is down. Tommy's. I got a little bit of there you go. garlic. You're very welcome. Oh, you don't like Shauna, garlic? Shauna, get over I do. here. Come oh. on. Yeah, there, there's this a little bit of garlic. This is how Shauna stays so slim and trim. Oh, my God. 
Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Where's my better half? You see here? Wouldn't she want Karen, to get in here? This? Come on. Get over here, dear. The dueling salmon. Uh, what's your favorite? Which one? You need to try it. What so you there think? you have it, folks. You like? He only oh, needed to have tongs because he knew Sir, it was amazing. Karen, this is Karen. Nothing like. This is Tom's wife, Shauna. You want to try some? Get in here. Absolutely. Rotor, you coming? Yeah. You gotta this help is, serve uh, your wife, Todd. My buddy Jason Rotor. He runs the Young Life. Honey, what'd you like? Here. Me a lot better. I just want to taste. Serber, there you go. Here you go. Serber. Uh, which Get are Shauna some of this hey, here. Gotta eat um, some pickle with the fish. Yep, I'll take one. Here this this is honey. Here you go. This is Shauna's. She's my fingers. I'll drip on the floor. Be back to the rest. Dude, I love that cheese sauce, Tommy. I'll do one too. Excellent. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Get in here, man. Where's my Try some of this uh Grab a plate, Shauna. Hurry up, Thurber. This is a live Fine. TV broadcast. Fresh. No, I'm just kidding. Here, Dad, let me grab right. this stuff out of your way. Here, try this. Try some out. I should have washed my hands after I put that starter on my truck. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Here, never hey. mind. I spray painted myself. They're all good. I have a question from one of the, one of the comments. Yeah. One of, the, one of your fans. Talk right here. Josiah Meyer asked, the, he asked, he had a uh, uh, kind of a Suggestion: The loser of this challenge oh, will no. have to twerk <laughs> like a salmon out of water <laughs> to end the show. Are you, are you guys willing to accept that challenge? I don't, don't want to see him twerk. I'll just automatically twerk. throw in the towel. I'm not sure what that must I don't want to see Tom. Like. Um, we'll let you we take had care a, of that. Now we're gonna have a twerk off. Okay. Yeah, Tom won. <laughs> Yeah, Tom, Tom Wayne got twerk, whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, there we go. No, oh. the loser, he said. Okay, guys. What do you think? Mine is They're more all different. Old natural. Yeah, These are it both is two different. different things. Guys, this is the wide right here. This, this, they're all different. I kind of, Tom, I like the zing on that. I can taste the. Me no Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got different. This, I can, it's really, it's, it's got a different taste, too. I like the pickle, that, that. Cool. Isn't that crazy? That one there is not too bad. Seems like it's pretty thick fish and maybe a little, a little I don't know. If I like it. Had nutmeg on it, that would win hands down. If that had nutmeg on yeah. it, that's what you Nutmeg's guys said. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's hard to pick a winner because they're all good. It Thurber, depends on this your one mood. here is interesting. Yeah, this one is amazing. They're both amazing. Mm -hmm. And the good oh, yeah. news is, is, look, we used all this fish. Oh, honey, I'll be fishing this week. Uh -huh. <laughs> There you go. Bonus points. So you guys eat up. Last right, week is the good news. I think you both won. Love, there we go. Love both of you guys. We'll close the show down. Dad, this is your birthday. Oh, man, you're, se you're 74 years old. Right. Hopefully we can get another 74 years out of you. But Absolutely. Uh, probably not likely. I hope not. <laughs> hey, guys, let's, uh, let's uh, thank God for salmon and everything else that we get to do in America. Yeah, we're losing yeah. some of our freedoms. We're hopefully we can keep our freedoms as for fishing at least and some of these other cool things. America is, you know, blessed. It, we're just I wanna I wanna just say that we're so blessed. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tom say say Dad, you say a quick prayer on the way out. Oh, it's your birthday. Okay. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to just do this this morning and Lord we ask that we would uh, just contact a lot of people and let them know that we love them. And Lord, just uh, help us to go through life and to uh, just bless others as we do it. We pray this in your precious and holy name. Amen. 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 Todd's Kitchen, tell your friends about Thank it. Thank you so much. We'll be on the, uh, in the, on the internet somewhere. See you guys.